All right, all right, update 2.7 and Conan Exiles is live on the Test Live branch right now. And today we're going to take a real super quick look at some of the more important parts of this update. The new pickup feature now includes the cascading pickup, which anything above the pieces that you are picking up that do cascade down and break away will now be returned to your inventory as intended. You can now pick up a foundation and any building pieces above it that do crumble away will also be returned to your inventory. One of the many fixes included with this update are the Nemedian gates. Prior to this, a lot of people were having trouble attaching ceiling pieces to the top of the Nemedian gate. That has been fixed. Nice, right? Speaking of Nemedian building pieces, we now have the Nemedian fences that work as they are supposed to. You can no longer climb over them like you could previously to this update. Here I'll try to climb up twice and you'll see that it does cause a bit of damage and knocks me back off. You can no longer jump from the ground and grab a hold of them either. This update also brings the Lesser Wheel of Pain, where you can no longer stack them one on top of the other. They've changed the placement volumes of the Lesser Wheel of Pain, making it impossible to stack them on top of each other. Uh-oh, Funcom, back to the drawing board. Hey, when we're in the jungle and up north, let's get out of the rain. Now when you're in your shelter, you've got a roof over top of your head, it should no longer rain inside of you. There should be maybe a two or three second bit where it alternates between wet and dry, then that will stop. And this even works with your thatch roofing. I tested this out a bit and even going into a cave or anywhere that gives you the shelter buff, it will no longer rain on you. Here's a good example of how well this is working. Here's a ceiling piece on the ground that is getting wet, not covered by a roof. The tile next to it is covered by a roof and it is no longer getting wet. Harpagus Hatcher, where are you? Harpagus Hatcher, the guy that teaches you the Zath religion, is back in the game again, finally. You can once again find him at Weaver's Hollow, down in the bottom of the pit, next to his demonic spider buddy, right where he belongs. And you can also take Scuttler's shortcut to get to the bottom of the pit here. And these are all located right about the center of F7 on the map. Once we run down to the bottom of the pit where the demonic spider lives, you'll find Harpagus the Hatcher. Go talk to him, learn your Zath religion. Another little fix in this update are the median building pieces that you could not dismantle in the dismantling bench. Now, everything that you throw in there from the, the, the Nemedian DLC will dismantle as it's supposed to. Nice, now we can pick up our bases and dismantle them and get most of our resources back. This next one is a bit more for people on the Isle of Sipta. It's the Shield of the Grey Ones. They've upped the durability from 500 to 2000 as it was originally intended to be. Those were just some of the key topics of this update. If you want to learn more, visit Funcom forums. And you can read through the patch notes to see what all is included in this next update. I hope you guys found this helpful, and if you did, hit that thumbs up button, and we'll see you in the next one.